Today we're opening up an Evolving Skies booster box that I was able to pick up on the Pokemon Center for 145 on the restock that happened last week. Um, so I'm really excited to get one more chance at the Umbreon VMAX alt art before I call it quits. But that's not all. We're also going to have a special mail time delivery segment at the end of the episode. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get right into this booster box. I'm super hyped. Um, yeah, this is going to be the first time and probably the only time I'm going to be able to open Evolving Skies with this many packs. Thirty-six packs. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. All right. So this is going to be the last video before we get started on Astral Radiance. Well, that's going to be having its official release on the twenty-seventh. So um, yeah, we're going to switch gears at the, after this episode. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Already starting off with a good card, Sylveon Vmax. As I was saying, yeah, we're going to switch gears after this episode and we're going to go into Astral Radiance mode for about a week or so before we move on to some other things. Um, I have a lot planned, so I'm excited for the rest of what's going to be on this channel. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Got a Drowsy for Babies, a Rua, and a Flapple. To pack number three. Two, three, four to the front. All right, Evolving Skies, we got Rayhan, Ribambi, Flaffy, Cryogonal, Petalil, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Entei, and a Zoro Arc. So how have you guys been feeling about Evolving Skies? Um, are you guys getting ready to retire the set? Are you guys still buying it up, trying to pull? Let me know. Um, personally for me, after this, I am giving up. Um, giving up is such a bad way to put it. <laughs> um, I'm going to move on from Evolving Skies and I'm going to focus on some other sets. Oh, and a Vaporeon V Full Art. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be moving on to some other sets and I'm probably just going to put in the money and get the VMAX myself um, and attend if I can't pull it. So, so far, I have some pretty good hopes for this box. It looks like there's some good stuff in here. But we'll see. We'll see. Alt arts are not guaranteed in a booster box. Um, so that's why some people like getting the single pack blisters because it's more of like a lottery shot at it than, you know, like your booster box pulls. One, two, three, four to the front. Um, they recently showed a video of the Ditto that's going to be in Pokemon Go expansion set, and that looks pretty fun. If you guys have seen that, let me know what your thoughts on that are below. I personally am excited for Astral Radiance. It feels like a lot of people are going to be skipping that set and focusing more on the Pokemon Go set that comes out like a month or two afterwards. But I'm going to dedicate just as much time into Astral Radiance um, and give you guys that content before we move on to Pogo. So it's not going to be like a quick, um, you know, a few videos. We'll, we'll be opening up all the products too that are going to be coming out with that. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. As we get another pack, we'll forward to the front for Water Energy, Rayhan, Avalug, Vigoroth, Scraggy, Pull Up Your Pants, Sir, Hippopoptus, Temple, Litlia, Mr. Lion King, Golduck, and a Glaceon VMAX. This card brings back good memories from one of the first, if not the first, VMAX card we pulled on this channel. So out of the hits we're getting, we are getting evolutions, which is what we want to see. So that is some, that's, that might be a good sign. That might be a good sign. There is talk of a potential reprint for Evolving Skies, and that does happen. It's probably going to be August is what the rumor is going to be, or summer. And a Hollow Zoro arc. But I made the decision that... If a reprint does come, I'm not going to be buying any. Maybe some for the sealed collection, but nothing to open. Since, like I said, I'm going to stick to my word. I won't be doing a mass opening of Evolving Skies anymore after this booster box. But I will be buying to um, 
hold on for a while. I'll be holding on to a few booster boxes. Rock and Roller and a Drompa. So far, three on the board. Okay, one, two, three, four. What has been your guys' favorite pull? Um, mine so far has been the Sylveon VMAX Alt Art that we pulled on the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom box. That box was friggin' insane. I'm not, not too sure. Um, I'm kind of curious what they're gonna be doing with evolutions in the next game in Scarlet and Violet. I, uh, I feel like our next type that's gonna be introduced is going to be a dragon type. Speaking of dragon, it's gonna be a dragon type evolution. I think that'd be really cool to see. I think my second favorite evolution that I would want to see would be a ghost type. I think a ghost type would be pretty cool. Um, poison types, another one, steel. There's so many good types that we haven't gotten into that I think are gonna be pretty sick to see if they ever do them. <gasps> Whoa! Man, a Rayquaza V Alt Art. Look at that centering though, rip. Bruh. That is a thick boy right here on the left side. And a little thin boy right here on the right, so... Wow, and it's just as bad on the back. <laughs> but it's cool to pull, and I'm happy to see this. Man, that is a sick, sick card. The VMAX is the big boy um, that a lot of people are wanting to pull, but this one I think is just as cool for sure. Oh man, I don't know if we can pull two alt arts. I think that might be it for our box, but let's see. You never know, you never know. Although it is gonna be a little unlikely. Fletchender, Shopping Center, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet, Lolololo, Tadimulga, Wubat, Cutie Fly, and a Pinsir. 36 packs of Evolving Skies, yeah. Du -du -du -du. Rubber Gloves, Flow Wet, Boucher, Glitly. I'm gonna go a little bit faster with these since I feel like our box is gonna be drying up. Full art and an alt art. Let's see if we can pull maybe another full art. Another alt art would be insane, but I'm not holding my breath. One, two, three, four to the front. Steel, Zinnia, Hippowden, Tentacruel, too cool for school. Pikachu, Seedot, Lillipup, Babagon, Gorgeist, and an Umbreon V. Hello. So the next video, I'm gonna skip the card trick. We're gonna go straight into the pack. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Rock and roll, flip baby, and a Sharpedo, non-hollow. Sayayayay duck. Oops, no card trick. Let's see. Anatropius. Two, three, four. Oh, I said no card trick, but oh well. Ursa Ring, Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Dana, Pumpkaboo, Carvana. Swablu and a Zygarde. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, maybe I'll buy another booster box. Maybe. Hydreigon, or maybe not. Saint Sylveon just reminds me of uh, Sylvie from the Loki TV show. And a Drompa. So I think I made a good call to a. Uh, not do the card trick anymore because it definitely slowed down after our last pull. Let's see. Do, 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 Ruffler, Rog and Roller, and an Espeon V. Ooh. Two, three, four to the front. Let's mix it up. Let's go back to the card trick. Scrafty, your pants, sir. Let Leo Chin Chu. Hoppity pop pop pop. Let Leo again. Chin Chu, Rayhan, and a Gorgeist. Do you guys think this was worth 140? Let me know. I think I'm kind of alright with it. Um, would I have liked to get something a little bit more insane? Sure. Who wouldn't? But, yeah. It's all in the hunt. That's the fun part. My package was enveloped by all these wrappers. Ooh, yeah, that's so why I don't forget about you, my boy. Switching cups. Tentacruel, Bulldor, Nickets, Bergmite, Rock and Roller with the Rock and Roll, Flabebe, 
Swabu, Seedon, and Ace Murgle. Man, I think all the hits were in the front of the box. It has significantly slowed down. Not even a VMAX yet. I think we're gonna get one right now though. Let's see. Four to the front. Got a Flappy. So these always remind me of uh, Cup Pong. Are we? Wobba Fett, Love Desk. I see something. Dwebble, Eevee with a Rayquaza right there in the background. Flapple. And a Lycanroc VMAX. I think the thing I'm most excited about for Astral Radiance are um, the the new artwork we're going to be seeing. It's nice to mix it up. Um, I'm excited for my commentary that I'm going to be ma I'm going to be making Delirium Moltres on the cards. That's always fun to see new things and point out things. Drowsy is just one of the creepiest Pokemon we have. Hit my chance, like off, and a Galarian Zapdos. Nice. We are nearing the end. That is the saddest part of this video. Two, three, four to the front. Got a ribbon badge, flappy. Oh, I see something. Should I just skip to the back? Nope. Feebas, Hippopopsis, Rog and Rolla, and. and a Noivern B. A good amount of stuff. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. This is a pretty good booster box, I feel, for Evolving Skies. Because. Let me tell you, that set can burn you for sure. I've bought in like 10 single packs at a time and not gotten anything in them, so this is good, definitely. And our last pack from the left side, we are down to four, folks. We are hanging on just like that Slykoth right there. But that guy doesn't care. Whoops, did I, sh did I show that? There we go. One, two, three. Four to the front. We got a dark energy shopping center. What are we gonna get? Carvana. I was really serious about buying a car off of Carvana once, but talked myself out of it. And a Sharpedo. Three packs left. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Cute dramatic music. As we get to the end with the Psyduck Rufflet, Drowsy Flabebe, Eevee, and a Shiftry. Shiftry shifting around. One, two, three, four. Oh, please get me something good. Low Tat Sable Eye. Oh, do I see something? And a Golurk V. Our last pack. I'm already sad. And flab it. Man. Well that was that was fun. The the booster boxes were only on sale on the Pokemon Center website for like a day. Otherwise I would have been buying some more. But at the time I could only justify one booster box. I didn't want to go crazy. Which is good, you gotta set budgets when you're in a hobby like this. Hippopoptus. Chinchu. Oh, that is. I don't remember this artwork. That is nice. And our last card, a drum roll. A Gigalith. Okay, but fret not, folks, because this isn't it for us. We got a package, like I said. So let's tear into this. My consolation prize. I always have a consolation prize ready for when things take a turn like this. Okay, here is our card. We got a PSA. Okay, I, I literally could have just done this. Alright, so we got our PSA card. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys know what kind of collection I'm starting and the reason for this video. I'm starting an Umbreon collection and the next addition to said collection is an Umbreon V from Brilliant Stars. Um, I think this is like on alt art quality. This is definitely one of my favorite cards from Brilliant Stars. Um, and you got Karen right there in the background. Umbreon looking all sassy. Awesome card. Super excited to have this into my collection. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that I'm running out of lower priced Umbreon cards to buy. 
So pretty soon I'm going to start getting into the expensive cards. Um, so the updates will be coming a little less frequently as I obviously I got to save um, to get those cards. My favorite card that we pulled was definitely this Rayquaza V. I think it's awesome even if the centering is horrendous. I think it's still cool. So I'm going to keep this. This will probably be a binder card for me. But thanks for watching guys. I'm super stoked for Astral Radiance coming out next week. Expect a video Saturday morning and some other videos to follow. If you guys like what you've been seeing, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.